Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Eddie Marcus here again. Today is Sunday, and it is the day that most people get together and assemble themselves in honor of God. And uh, usually I do things a little bit different. I do it my way. Today I got a little message I want to share with you. I've taken some notes here again because these things are so important, and I'm getting kind of old. Sometimes things might slip my mind. I don't want anything as important as you and what I have to give to cause any problems, so I don't mind taking a note. Here's some notes that I've shared. Trump is still out of his mind. I'm talking to the American people and people of the world. He is going to change America, he said. He's going to drain the swamp. And he took from it the worst. And then he shopped around throughout the citizenry for the, amongst the haters, amongst the races, and amongst the bigots for the rest. He stepped out to make America great again. And what was he going to do? Make America's whites superior. Blacks, second class citizens. Wealth for a few. Poverty for the masses. And loyalty that, rep that per permits him to take over. America. But the majority of the citizenry rejected his plans and they impeached him. But his hands selected inner circle, they too rejected his extremes. And he called them all traitors. And uh, you can imagine he associated them with everyone else that weren't loyal to him that weren't willing to destroy. In other words, anything that was good, anything that was connected with good, he was set out to destroy and to what he would call kill. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is as clear an action of evil as anyone we've ever read about or saw in movies. This is as evil as Putin could ever be or Hitler, or Mussolini, or either Paul Pot. These are signs that he seeks to be more evil than all of these. He wants to be recognized as the one. Now, on the other hand, you have those that totally reject this evil reason. They argue and they struggle to represent goodness to represent kindness, speak for better schools, better health care, and etc. But now, to the people of America, as spokesman and advocate of basic human rights for all, this practice, unknown to you, is a flow of a strategy called bad cop, good cop. There is a group filled with the evil of destroying this country and all the government and all it represents. That's Trump and his followers. And there's another group which serves as a life jacket that maintains the evil of the system. Nothing changed. So somebody is trying to take you to hell. So what does that mean? That means that you must demand heaven instead. Speak for yourself. Everyone must have a job that gives them the greatest joy that they can imagine. And they must participate in the process of creating all of the goods and services that we the people have determined are essential for our life. And by engaging in that process, they're entitled to the benefits thereof. They ain't got nothing to do with no black. They ain't got to do with no white. They ain't got to do with no evil. They got, that's righteous. That's how you talk about going to heaven. Want to live and go to heaven? Who told you that lie? You think you're going to heaven? 
You better build it right here. You got an opportunity to build heaven right here. Every last one of us on earth, we got a hand in building heaven or building hell. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. You allow hell down here. Think you've been forgiven to take you back to heaven or take you to heaven? Are you out of your mind? What would Trump do in heaven? The same thing he's doing here. And what would you do in heaven? The same thing that you're doing here. Somebody come along with a lie and you buy. Why? Because you don't know the truth. Go to bed praying, talking about living forever. Which um, Who amongst you want to live forever? I saw you. You saw you too when you were young. You saw you growing up. You saw yourself blossoming. You saw yourself living. You saw yourself great. And you keep on living. And all of a sudden, most of us are depleted. All of that beauty is gone. We are in ugliest sin. Some of us might still be lucky enough to walk and get around. Thank God for that. You got a blessing. Of, many of us don't. And this is what you are satisfied with when somebody is trying to destroy you, telling you if you're good that they're going to kill you. They're going to take you out to some place and drown you and telling you that in your face. And the newspaper, the TV station, the main folks don't tell you that. Why? Because they're in partnership with the good cop, bad cop. And you right now being led straight to hell. And talking about it. Because you don't know what to do. The option ladies and gentlemen. If somebody want to burn you up. Then that gives you the key. To open the door to be free. And live according to life. You don't have to fear no more. Because you know they have to destroy you. And if they are not trying to satisfy. Every last one of you. Then they are playing a part. In the bad cop. Or the good cop. Let me see how I want to end this. I'm going to end this by saying. Until the world changes, that we can all, all, what, what did Martin Luther King say? Thank God Almighty, thank God Almighty with Fred Last. Until that can happen, America, the world, and the people everywhere is a lie. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.